Hello folks, Ron Wickmeyer here. I want to talk today about one of OSHA's fatal fours, uh, the fourth leading cause of construction worker deaths in the U.S., and that is caught in or caught between on a construction project. I remember a case where a construction worker crawled underneath a water truck uh, while the truck was still running, and uh, he was checking out uh, whether something wasn't working right, uh, and he caught his collar on the water pump shaft uh, that was rotating, uh, which unfortunately pulled him into that uh, pump shaft and uh, resulted in his death. Some common types of caught in or caught between uh, incidents on construction sites are machinery, uh, like in our instance, with the water truck of unguarded uh, moving parts that can catch a worker's hands, feet, or clothing. Another example is being pinned between a moving object uh, and a stationary object like a wall, a moving piece of equipment uh, moving up against a uh, stationary object. Well, let's talk about prevention. A couple of things that workers can do to prevent these type of incidents are, uh, number one, do not wear loose clothing or jewelry on a construction site that can be caught in moving parts of equipment, like our example. Uh, number two, make sure that machinery and equipment is de-energized so it cannot start accidentally. A few things employers should do to prevent these types of incidents from occurring. Number one, employers should provide guards on power tools and equipment with moving parts. OSHA has specific regulations about that. Employers should provide a lockout tagout procedure for uh, ensuring that disabled machinery or equipment is not inadvertently energized while it's being repaired or otherwise out of service. Uh, number three, employers should make sure that backhoes, end loaders, buckets, or similar, similar equipment is blocked or fully lowered uh, at a, possession, a position of rest uh, when not in use. Number four, employers should make sure material handling equipment is equipped with rollover protection structures. Folks, if you have any questions or want to discuss any of this, feel free to shoot me an email. Thanks for your time in watching this video, and please stay safe and be well.